Hi, I'm Eddie from MSI. We've brought here two lap saws for you today, the Katana series and the Sword series. Let's have a look. But before we start, let me tell you the story behind these gaming laptops. The iconic oriental white and black warriors were designed by the famous gaming illustrator Nagano Toyoshi. The color represents Sword and Katana series respectively. The bottom cover of the laptops are also designed to represent the armor of the warriors. Like a warrior who is capable of using every kind of weapons, the laptop equips with different I.O. ports making you prepared for all kinds of scenario. A HDMI port that supports up to 4K 60Hz output, a gigabit Ethernet port that provides stable connection, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A, one USB 2.0, and one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port. The laptop is built with brute force with Intel 8 cores i7-11800H, RTX 3060 GPU, DDR4-3200 memory, and an ultra-high-speed NVMe SSD. It's like a sharpened blade ready for combat. Also, with a screen display up to 144Hz refresh rate, you won't lose track of your enemy. The Sword series, which represent the White Warrior, has an MSI specially tuned blue backlit keyboard. On the other hand, the Katana series has the red gaming keyboard backlit. Now, let's talk about the cooling system. Cooling system is the fundamental factor that determines how you perform in your game. The Katana and Sword series, built with Cooler Boost 5 system, as you can see, has up to six heat pipes that ensures high stability performance during your competitive gaming. The new generation Cooler Boost 5 even made the heat pipes wall thinner so that more heat can be efficiently transferred to the fans without increasing the pipe size. On the top right hand corner of the keyboard, you can find the power button. Remember to plug in the power adapter before you first boot up the laptop, so the factory shipping mode can be disabled. The reason for this design is to prevent laptops from being turned on during transportation. Unlike other laptops, holding the power button will enter sleek mode. The LED color indicator on the power button changes from white to orange sometimes, don't worry. There's a reason behind this special design. When the LED light is white, it means that the laptop is using an integrated GPU, whereas orange is when it's using a discrete GPU. Besides the power button, hotkeys from F1 to F12 are one of the most frequently used function on the laptop. By default, you can click on F1 to F12 and activate each function. But if you'd like to access the printed hotkeys, for example, turning off the camera, you'll have to use the function key Fn plus F6 in order to do so. If you find pressing the function key before pressing any other keys to be annoying, there is a way that you can swap the default around. Here's how you do it. By holding the function key and escape key, the default function will toggle between each other. You will notice if it's activated with the LED indicator on the escape key. Next, I'll show you some useful hotkey combinations which can be triggered with FN key. If you use the FN to F12 key quite frequently with the FN button or vice versa, you probably want to move the FN key to the left of the keyboard instead of the Windows key. By switching their functions, you will reduce your chance of accidentally pressing the Windows key and switching out of your game. And guess what? You can switch their function in MSI Center. All you have to do is open up MSI Center, go to the general settings, click switch key, the function of both keys will swap immediately. Sometimes when you're gaming, you might want to increase the airflow just like a turbo engine. This is when the cooler boost hotkey becomes convenient. By pressing the FN plus up arrow key, the fan speed will increase instantly. Simply by pressing the key combination again, you can return back to a normal fan speed. Tired of playing with a sniper rifle without a crosshair while you're in scope mode, or crosshair expanding when you're firing your gun? By pressing the FN and down arrow, the crosshair will be fixed right in the middle of your screen. You can open up the MSI Center and customize your crosshair to your ideal colors and positions. You don't always use the laptops to play games, right? Just like driving a car, you will change your gear shift depending on whether you are driving in a city or highway. Same applies to laptops. You may use it to browse internet or complete other tasks. Efficiency is one of the important keys when completing each task. And trust me, having more than one monitor will help. If you have a bigger TV or monitor, you can connect it through HDMI. Pressing the FN with F11 or just the FN hotkey if you have to toggle the function permanently allows you to switch to the second screen only mode. Additionally, there is in fact a possibility that utilizing external monitors can increase your performance slightly. This is due to the NVIDIA GPU Optimus design. By bypassing the Intel integrated graphics, the GPU will feed the signal directly to the monitor, therefore may increase the performance. Now I'm going to show you how these settings can be applied when you're gaming. We're going to play a famous shooting game. Then, change my user scenario from silent to extreme performance by pressing the F7 hotkey. While the game is loading, I can turn on the cooler boost function 
increasing the fan speed, lowering the CPU temperature, thus shortening the loading period. In the game, no matter what gun I choose, just turn on the crosshair and I can be accurate sniper without a sniper rifle. Hope you enjoy your video today and thank you for watching. See you next time.